Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Confessions of a Paper Addict Design Team Layout. I am also participating in Christy's Beautiful Life, a season series 10 of the 30 Days of Sketches and this cute sketch was created exclusively for this series by a lady called Jen Mella. So I found this sketch a super fun to work with and absolutely perfect for some of Virginia's amazing floral cut files that she has over on her channel. I almost found it difficult to choose which floral it was that I wanted to work with. Uh, she just has so many amazing florals. And of course, I didn't need to stay that true to the sketch. I didn't have to use florals if I didn't want to. But who could resist with a sketch like this and those gorgeous florals to choose from? over at the Cobra Cut Files Etsy shop. Uh, so as you can see, I've started off by layering up the different um, corners with those triangles of paper, just like in the sketch. And I am working with the Coco Vanilla Studios These Days collection. And then I have got three photos, just like the sketch depicts, uh, and I've cut those into squares. They're about three by three size. And of course, I have got my beautiful cut file. Now, this is one of those amazing cut files over in the cut file shop that is like more than you bargain for. It's called Spring Bunches and you literally get two clusters of flowers as well as three additional sprigs and some leaves. So you certainly get so much bang for your buck with this cut file. So this one here that I'm sticking on now is the smaller sprig and I'm gluing that straight onto my page with some wet glue and I was just holding it down with my glue bottle for a minute there. That's one of the first little extra sprigs that come with it. It's kind of like, you know, the berries on the end or it could be the buds of the blossoms before they've opened up. Um which I just think is gorgeous. And you also saw earlier that I attached one of the um leafy sprigs as well so that is like half the cut file but there is still a whole nother half of this cut file to come so it is amazing and honestly you really need to jump over and check out the store because there is so many cut files on offer uh she even down on the right hand side on the website has got like the um, themes, I guess you call them. And you can literally just click on the word floral and you've got over 109 cut files to choose from. So, so easy to go hunting around to see what you can find. Uh, so now you can see I'm working with the larger floral piece that comes with that cut file. And of course, it also has its own additional little sprigs and stuff to work with as well. So there are some two beautiful leaves that is part of the cut file and also um, another little sprig of leaf, uh, big leaves, like a, like a stem, I guess, of leaves that I'm about to pop on in a minute as well. And so what you're essentially getting two floral clusters and four like additional pieces. It's just so cool. Anyway. So once I have put all that on, I have basically finished this whole layout because this, according to the sketch, I've basically stayed very, very true to that sketch. I am doing some small little clusters. You saw I did one up above the little family of ducks in the top right hand corner. Uh, I am doing another one here down on the bottom right where I'm hand feeding the duck. I just thought that was so cool. For any of you playing along at home, we've got oats um, at where we go here. They, It's really cool. They actually have a sign up to tell you what you should and should not feed the ducks because a lot of people are unaware that you actually shouldn't feed them bread. I know that that's super common and what we used to always feed them, but it's actually super bad for them. And yeah, so they've got a whole bunch of other things that they suggest bringing along with you to feed them. And one of those things is oats. So yeah, we brought along our oats. So as you can see, I am popping a little sparkly gold heart with each of the clusters. And my title is absolutely ridiculous and has no meaning or anything to this layout, except that the sparkly goldness of it matches 
perfectly with the love hearts. They're like identical in coloring. And I have another layout, uh, sorry, another title identical to this one. I must have brought two packets of these thickers still in my cupboard. And I have no idea how I'm ever going to use Be True on two layouts, let alone on one. So I'm just throwing it on this one and rolling with it. Then I'm getting out these super gorgeous gems that are beautiful little crystals and adding those on as well. Of course, you saw me earlier popping the little puffy stickers around. I love the butterflies, so I thought I'd put them on. And once I've popped on my splatters, this one is done. So don't forget to check that description box down below. You'll find a link to the Copper Cut Files Etsy shop. You'll also find a link to this direct cut file. Uh, I am also part of the playlist for the um, Christie's Series 10, 30 Days of Sketches. Um, there's just so much going on these days, and I think we're only going to get busier with the end of October basically upon us, and then next thing you know, your blink and silly season will have started. So we are definitely getting busier and busier these days. I hope you have enjoyed watching this process video and listening to me prattle away. Uh, I really enjoyed creating this layout. This cut file just made it all just come together with the sketch so, so, so easy. Uh, I think it is super fun and I can't wait to create for you again next month when I see you in November with my next layouts coming together. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a very happy scrappy week.